Hello, my name is Dr. Sindhu Nair, class of 1996 at DeBakey High School for Health Professions. After training and practice, I am now a hematologist oncologist at Houston Methodist Sugarland Hospital. Hello, my name is Alexandria Aldag, and I am a junior at uh, DeBakey High School for Health Professions. So, how was your time at DeBakey? <laughs> I would say it was a very unique experience. If you look from the outside, the school is viewed as something intense on math and science and, you know, health professions. And it was unique because we got to rotate through many hospitals. I was at Bentob Hospital, I was at Methodist, I was at the O'Quinn Towers with St. Luke's. But if you go in deeper, we really had an eclectic group of kids, people from different parts of the city, people from different walks of life in terms of cultural, social, ethnic, religious. And I think it was a really unique experience because we got to share our differences and to learn a lot from each other. I feel like that's actually very similar to how Dubiki is now. I felt like at this school, you can, you know, go up to anyone and just talk to them and you know, they'll talk right back and they won't, you know, judge you for anything. Do you have any funny stories you, you know, have about DeBakey or even like medical school? Sure, I actually have. So it's from DeBakey when I was a high school student here. So on our clinical rotations, we actually had a uniform. Uh, we would wear scrubs and then a long lab coat. And on the long lab coat on the pocket, it had our symbol and it said high school for health professions. Um, this is before the school was renamed. So we're going to our clinical rotations and I was assigned to Bentop Hospital on the pediatric floor. And I kid you not how many times a patient family member came up to see doctor, doctor. And I'm like, I'm not a doctor, I'm a sophomore in high school. You'd think by how we looked, they would have called us Doogie Hauser, but no, they, they, they were very much like, no, this is doctor, this has to be a doctor and I need help. It was a bit nerve wracking, but then eventually it actually became a bit empowering. Like, I know I'm not a doctor, but I'm here to help. Alexandra, what inspired you to come to DeBakey? When I was younger, I used to talk about, oh, I'm gonna be a doctor when I grow up. And I actually have a twin brother. And so I would dress up as like the little doctor and my brother would be the patient. And we had all these like little toys and I would use it all. And I felt like DeBakey would have been, you know, a really unique experience because I heard that you get to do rotations and then you got to do all these, you know, like blood draws, all this other stuff that, you know, other schools wouldn't usually do. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was mainly experience and the want to, you know, be able to, I guess, learn new things. I do have to admit, though, that it's, it's a lot harder than I thought it was. I, I think um, it's important to know what seems hard at the time, climbing that hill may seem daunting, but once you're at the top and you're looking back behind you and you see all the hills you've climbed, then the next one doesn't seem so difficult to do. You and the, and the students at the school have the capability to do it. It's just don't let the worry cloud your mind. It's hard to say. <laughs> it's hard to do, but yes. <laughs>